There's been some speculation that the changing intellectual property rules um, and, and allowing these vaccines, as you say, the, the, the recipe for these vaccines to be shared would be helpful. And um, do you think that would be helpful? Listen, listen. Listen. <laughs> I don't even know what you think you're asking me right now. Okay? Here's the reality. There are these things called vaccines. They're tough to make. They're not made in a magical factory in the sky. Okay? They're made for profit. In a factory where I walk around with a hard hat. <laughs> and I goose people. Gender unimportant. I just goose them. That's where they're going to be made. And if you want one, you can spend a little coin, okay? But other than that, we're not going to be letting you run around with our product all over the developing world. We do that. If somebody's pricking you in sub-Saharan Africa, that is us, okay? So let's be real clear about why I'm in this business. It's to make a couple of bucks. You think tech is good money? You think finance is good money? You know what's good money? The essence of all life. That's what I've decided. I got a little bored. I got a little bored <laughs> at Microsoft. Where do you work? Microsoft, right? right. Yeah, I got a little bored there, okay? So I decided my next business venture would be trying to control the essence of all life on this planet, deciding how much of it there is and where it should happen, okay? So I'm not interested in like, you know, this isn't a potluck dinner where everybody brings a vaccine. This isn't a firehouse where somebody brings macaroni salad and somebody else, you know, brings a fucking lasagna. This is a vaccine party and it's at my house, Okay, bitch. He seemed a little flustered kind of giving that answer. He didn't look as comfortable as he usually does no, giving that didn't. answer. Why doesn't he host SNL? <laughs> What's with Elon Musk all the time? Get Gates uh, to host SNL. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk clearly wants the spotlight. Uh, let's not give it to him. Let's get Bill Gates to host SNL, and they could do a fun sketch about Bill Gates explaining uh, to an Indian peasant whose entire family of 72 people has just been burned alive in the street why he can't share the vaccine patent. It'll be a laugh riot. I think so. Can't you see that sketch? Mm -hmm. A.D. Bryant and Bowen and Yang dressed as Indian peasants crawling across the floor, <laughs> okay? Talking to Bill Gates about the vaccine patent. I can. And why not? People are up in arms uh, about this. Bernie Sanders. What did Sanders say? Sanders was like, hey. Uh, Sanders, Sanders was uh, star staunchly against this. Yeah, he, wa he wants to share the patents. Mm -hmm. Sanders is like a good moral man. He is. The huge concentration held by, okay, last weekend, Senator Bernie Sanders called on President Biden to support international efforts to suspend patent protections for COVID-19 vaccines, arguing that they're artificially restricting the world supply of vaccines and preventing citizens of poor countries from gaining access to a life-saving product. There's growing public support in America for Sanders' position. A petition signed by 2 million people was sent to Biden, urging him to back a temporary patent waiver for the vaccines. 60%. On the other side of the fence is Billy Gates, Billy Boy Gates, <laughs> who supports increasing poor countries' accessi uh, accessibility to the vaccines. However, <laughs> you love that sentence? Yeah. On the other side is Bill Gates, who supports increasing poor countries' accessibility to the vaccines. However, Gates, the great global philanthropist. I mean, do they write, did Bill and Melinda write these articles and send them to the paper? Gates, the great global philanthropist whose businesses are based on intellectual property laws, argues that it's a bad idea to wait. This is the guy that they had to break up Microsoft.
because he wanted a monopoly. He had a monopoly. He wants a monopoly on your health. And when people like me said things like that, I was called names. Argues it's a bad idea to waive patent protections for COVID vaccines and share their formulas with the world for the sake of achieving a dramatic rise in their production and distribution. He said it's a technical matter. There's a limited number of manufacturing plants and the safety of the manufacturing process is of the utmost importance. Hey, there's a limited number of places to do this and we should keep it that way. How about, how about trying to increase the safety standards at the... Fa Shut up! Uh, sir, may I ask, could it be possible to increase the safety standards? Hey, fuck you! I, my question is just that I know you're concerned that there's not too many manufacturing plants. Could we build those plants, perhaps, and increase the safety standards? Get out of my face! I'm kidding. That, see, I won't even, even for the joke, even for the bit, even for the bit, we won't. Even though it's clearly an ironic bit, and many of my smarter listeners realize that, and, and viewers, we can't even, you know, we can't even go because you know what'll happen.